championship just hit the home stretch here on the World Poker Tour. The World Poker Tour is a series of international poker tournaments featuring the biggest games, yes. nice spot. the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. In Reno, six players buy for a $1.7 million prize pool. It's the last chance stop to hit the big time here on the World Poker Tour. Welcome to the World Poker Tour. We're in Reno, Nevada. And Vance, if you're a poker player, you know that means that this is the last chance to win a World Poker Tour regular season event in season three. That's right, Mike. And win a seat in next week's WPT World Championship, which is the culmination of a $70 million season. And what a season. 15 colossal tournaments, 13 new WPT millionaires, but the regular season ends tonight right here at the Reno Hilton. We started out with 361 players, all putting up $5,000 each to take a shot at a total prize pool of $1.7 million. And of course, they're gonna have their last chance to make the championship. Let's get down to the table and meet them. All right. Tonight's short stack is 36-year-old home developer and amateur player from Cleveland, Ohio, Mark Chapik. Now, Mark got into the event through a $500 satellite, and he's in seat number five with 182,000 in chips. In seat two is professional gambler Blair Rodman. Blair is 50 years old, lives in Las Vegas, and is a veteran tournament poker player. He'll be starting out tonight with 478,000 in chips. In fourth chip position with 490,000 is one of the world's best poker players, 28-year-old Phil Ivey. Now, this is Phil's fifth World Poker Tour final table, but he's never won the WPT event. In seat three from Thousand Oaks, California, is 41-year-old Arnold Spee. Arnold quit his job in sales to become a professional poker player. A win tonight would make that a good career move, Vince. He'll be starting off with 721,000 in chips. Okay, second chip position with 802,000 is 61-year-old Russ Carlson. Now, Russ is a retired executive okay. sanitation engineer, but for the last year, he's been driving around the country playing poker tournaments anywhere he can. And our chip leader in seat four is another of this season's young gun players, 23-year-old Michael Yoshino. Michael lives in Southern California where he serves our country in the Marine Corps Reserves, yet still finds time to play poker in the Los Angeles card clubs. Michael starting out tonight with 937,000 in chips. Shuffle up and deal. Who are you selecting, Mike? Well, well, I'm going with Phil Avey, the guy who's been down there before. I know he's coming to win. He doesn't care about second or third or fourth place. He is out for the gold. Okay, I'll go with my L.A. guy, Michael Yoshino. We will see what happens. Let's go to the table. Action's going to be on Michael Yoshino from Los Angeles, California. Looks down at King Tanner Club's going to raise it on hand. Number one comes in for 46000 Mark Chappick quickly going out. There's the legendary Phil Ivey folding. And now Russ Carlson with 10-8 and the button. Goes away. Already? Blair Rodman with Jack Deuce of Spades. Doesn't like it. Around to Arnold Spee. He's in the big blind. He's picked up Ace Jack. Pretty good hand. I raised. Young guy from Thousand Oaks. He's going to raise it. Well, I tell you, I think it's a bold re-raise on hand number one. Normally, people that raise under the gun have a big hand. And usually, early on at these final tables, play as conservative. So I would think you'd have to put Michael on a hand here. Michael Yoshino, a Marine Corps reservist. Not happy hearing that re-raise. Michael does lay down the King-10, so give Arnold Speed credit there, Vince. Pretty bold play on hand one, I think. And his dream coming alive here. He's taking a nice pot. Well, Arnold Spee said this is his dream job, being a professional poker player. A dream could come true tonight for him if he could take this title. All right, around the table, action's going to be on Russ Carlson. Looks down at Ace Deuce of Clubs. Russ is retired, has three children, been playing poker for 25 years. And Vince, he and his wife just travel around the country just playing in poker tournaments. They love to play. What a life. He comes in for 30000 Blair Rodman with five deuce throws it away. Arnold looks down at queen three offsuit and folds. And now it's on Michael Yoshino, who's got a wired pair of sixes with the button in front. Pretty good hand. And he's going to call. Mark Chappick goes out. Round to Phil Ivey. Has a 5-4, doesn't want to play, so it's two-way action. 
Russ Carlson versus Michael Yoshino. Well, here comes the flop. Flop is 10-5-4 with two hearts. Russ has flopped a gut shot straight draw, as we say. A three would give him a straight. He's going to lead out in about 30,000. He's playing fearless, bold poker. No hesitation. Betting right into the kid. He's going to put Michael to the test here with those two sixes. As we said, this guy's in the Marine Corps Reserves. Already been to Kuwait and Iraq, so you can't imagine anything at a poker table is going to phase this guy. The one that's looking very unfazed is Russ Carlson. Well, Michael trying to put this guy on a hand here. Does he have a big pair? Is he on a flush draw? Or is he bluffing? Well, Michael is going to call him here. Michael putting him on a couple big cards. Thinks his two sixes are good. So far, they are. Oh, a three comes right off. Russ has made his straight. Caught the absolute miracle card. This card gives Michael an open and straight draw as well as his pair of sixes. But Russ with no reaction. All in. Goes all, all in. in. <laughs> wow. 700,000 he's betting here, Vance. Did he overbet this? Do you want to lose this guy? Wow. An all in play. It's going to make it a tough call here for Michael, I think. Essentially, all it can beat is a bluff here with the two sixes at this stage. He's going to lay it down. So you're right, Vince. You wonder if Russ bet too much money there. After making your hand, you know, you want to try to extract some chips from your opponent. Well, he wanted to get them all. So let's take a look at the Wonder Cam. Nine of Diamonds would not have helped Michael Yoshino, but you're right. Maybe that was a little bit too forceful there. But, you know, he's been playing poker for so long, 25 years. You've seen so many bad suckouts on you that you get tired of that. And you say, you know what? Let's end this charade. I played a satellite tournament the morning of the main event, and I came in second, and I was so discouraged. My wife said, hey, we're on this trip, and we're supposed to be playing in poker tournaments. You go to the bank, and I'll talk to the tournament director. I think I was the last one to register for the tournament. She was right. Here I am. Well, there's the lady, Vance, Russ's wife, Judy. She's the one that told him, let's get in this tournament. What a life of Russ Carlson. Rambling, traveling man in the gambling world. This time he's got queen four diamonds. He lays it down. Blair out. Arnold throws his hand away. Back to Michael Yoshina. And yes, he has another good starting hand. Ace jack off suit. Comes in for 36,000. Now Mark quickly folds a pair of threes wired. Well, we're around to Phil Ivey. He's got two tens here. See how this poker grade is going to play him. 28 years old, out of Atlantic City, New Jersey. He has made millions of the game of poker. Plays in the highest stakes cash games on a daily basis. This guy is not afraid to let the fur fly. He's gonna raise it here. Makes it 120,000 to go. $120,000. Michael's saying to himself, what am I doing? forgot who I was playing against. Now he knows Phil Ivey is capable of making a play with any two cards here just to try to take the pot away from him. Can you pull this in? In fact, he has two over cards here. We can see that because of the WPT cam. Michael's going to call the raise. Yep. So big pot developing here, over 250,000 in the pot already. Very nice. Phil Ivey with the two tens, Michael with the ace jack, and look at this, Phil has flopped three tens. Tremendous. He's flopped a set, as we say. But yoshino has got the inside straight draw. Yeah, but nine, we give him a straight. Action's gonna be on Phil. How aggressive will he be? Well, you know he wants to get action here, Vince. When you flop the top set, you're trying to get as many chips as you can. And look at this. He's only betting 100000 He bets 100000 He did not make the over bet that Russ made a minute ago. And now, will Michael play for the gut shot straight draw? Michael Yoshino plays in L.A. seven days a week. Only been playing a couple years. Can he figure this out right now? 
looks like Michael's trying to figure out if I set him all in, would he play with me? Could I take the pot away from him? Is it possible my ace jack is the best hand? Is he making some kind of move on me here? Do I want to gamble to try to hit this gut shot straight? And he's going to lay it down. Now right now, the Marines' foxhole is being overrun by everybody at the table. Phil Ivey picking up that pot. And Phil would have liked to get some action there, no question about it. Well, he is always great to watch. What a champion. Five times he made it to the final table. This is his shot tonight. Stick around. The big action in Little Reno is just getting started here on the World Poker Tour. When you watch something on TV and you see them play in their hands, you just take it for granted. But when you're actually in this set, you see all the hundreds of crew members, and you realize it's a lot bigger than you ever imagined. It's pretty neat. It's pretty cool to be part of this. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're in Reno, Nevada. We just saw poker phenom Phil Ivey take down his first pot. And Vince, this guy truly is incredible. This is the fifth time he's made it to a World Poker Tour final table. And as you know, it's not easy to get to these final tables on the World Poker Tour. Get the chance to see the young superstar at work once again. Action's going to be on Russ. Throws away 9-4. Blair throws away King-7. Arnold Spee laying down 7-3 offsuit. Michael Yoshino. With the ace five, gonna raise on the button. Makes it 36,000 to go. Mark quickly going out with 10 3. Phil Ivey with ace 10. Michael's drawn the unfortunate position to have Phil Ivey in the big blind here. He's gonna call it. Because Phil's what we call a defender. He doesn't like to give up chips when he's got him out in the pot. Here comes the flop. The flop is 987, so Phil Ivey has flopped an open end straight draw. Michael Yoshino has a little straight draw with the five. Yeah, but if a six comes off, he's going to be in dire straits because Phil Ivey will have a bigger straight. Phil's going to check. Yeah. Phil checks. Give this Marine credit, Vince. This guy's got courage, no question about it. That's 50,000. Not going to slow down. Now, Phil Ivey. Always has his computer poker mind whirring away. What he's wondering right now is, is this guy making a move on me? Does he have a hand? He only bet 50,000. If I come over the top of him, can I take the pot away from him? These are the things you think about when you're sitting at a poker table. And certainly Phil Ivey doesn't miss a trick. Well, he calls the 50,000, so here we go to the turn. The Queen of Diamonds comes up now. No help to either player. Phil checks. Yeah, he's slowing down. Is Michael going to fire another shell at this pot against the great Phil Ivey? He has nothing here. Starting to rack up the chips, though, like he's going to bet it. And yes, 140,000. What a play by this young Marine Reserve. He is not just going to go away. He is bet right into Phil. It's 140000 to call. He's got less than $600,000 left. Just can't imagine. You want to make a call for that amount of money at this stage. Most players would just fire their cards right in the muck. Come on, Lance. Oh, oh in. What bold poker. You're seeing by Phil Ivey. Yeah, look at the Michael Yoshino's look.